beer, it's good for you. Hello and welcome to the video. In this video we'll be looking at the new 20 litre Oxybar kegs from Kegland which are suitable for use as a fermentation vessel as well as being suited for beer serving. Here I will deliver everything you need to know within a short yet fact filled format. So let's get started. This new 20 litre Oxybar keg is the third release by Kegland for the very popular Oxybar range adding a much higher level of volume to its 8 litre and 4 litre brothers. You will note that the bottom of the 20 litre Oxybar keg sits in an extra plastic section for stability and also protection and that the 20 litre version also has graduation markings both of which are new features compared to the 4 litre and 8 litre Oxybar kegs. In terms of sizing the 20 litre Oxybar keg is just 640mm in height and 235mm in diameter. See on screen for these details in both metric and imperial measurements. This slimline style means that you can fit three of these within Kegland Series X or Series 4.1 kegerators, which is one more compared to comparable competitors' kegs. Staying on the topic of sizing, here is a look at the 20 litre Oxybar keg side by side with a 19 litre Cornelius keg, which is 214 millimetres in diameter and 629 millimetres high. You can now see on screen these details with comparison in both metric and imperial measurements. So as you can see the 20 litre Oxybar keg is a little wider and taller compared to a stainless steel 19 litre Cornelius keg, but it is certainly slimline considering the medium used for construction. Let's now look at comparing these when it comes to storage time. The 20 litre Oxybar keg is ideal for storing beer in for 3 months within a kegerator, which I imagine covers most brewers nicely for the majority of their beers. However, for complete information I will also mention that under the same kegerator refrigerated conditions you can store beer in a stainless steel keg for about a year, so the Oxybar kegs are ideally suited for beers that have a 3 month turnaround, whereas you want a stainless steel keg for periods that are longer, which for some would be stronger beers like Imperial Stouts for example. When it comes to storing these, thanks to the chime system they can be stacked upright, even when in use with hoses attached for CO2 and for serving. You are also able to stack these upside down too should that be a preference for you. Either way multiples of these kegs can be stored in a small footprint which is certainly welcomed by me and I am sure most home brewers with space considerations. Another interesting feature that the 20 litre Oxobar brings to the table is its ability to be used as a fermentation vessel, making this a dual feature product. My recent home brewer survey revealed that a surprisingly large percentage of my viewers actually do this with Cornelius kegs, and naturally being able to do this with an Oxibar keg with its vastly cheaper price point just has to be attractive, particularly these days. Quite obviously this isn't going to be as feature rich as using a firm serve for example with its larger opening at the top and port at the bottom which certainly makes dry hopping easier but it will certainly do the job just within a more basic feature set which of course could well suit you if you are coming from a more basic bucket style fermentation vessel and want an easy and extremely cost effective way to get into pressure fermentation and kegging which naturally a 20 litre oxybar keg will tick both boxes. The easiest and safest way to do this with the Oxybar keg is to use a spunding valve like this blow tire which you will need to purchase separately. If you do not wish to ferment under pressure then you can simply set it to spund at all levels rather than above. Either way though Kegland do suggest a maximum fill volume of 15 litres which is the equivalent of 3.96 US typical gallons. This allows for some room for pressure build up and reduces the risk of crawls and hops and other potential solids from getting stuck in the pressure release valve and spunding valve. Now I appreciate that the loss of 5 litres of beer may not be very attractive here, but safety really must come first as we all know. Unlike the other members of the Oxypar family there is no need to purchase a separate tapping head as this is included by standard. The Oxybar 20 litre tapping head also includes handles which include the chime system for storage as you saw earlier. A nice feature of this is that the whole thing can be cleaned in a dishwasher. The other good news here is that you can clean these kegs in the top lid and handles using the bucket blaster which makes for a fast and easy cleaning solution just how we all like it. My impressions here have been very positive and I've been using the 20 litre size for quite some time ahead of release outside of Australia. As a very regular user of the 4 litre and 8 litre Oxybar kegs I had been eagerly awaiting this 20 litre version alongside many others too. Due to its extra size extra stability has been implemented making this feel very well made and able to withstand light knocks at least. 
I really like the inclusion of the extra bottom part for stability, which also helps to protect the bottom of the keg from greater knocks than the main body. For someone either looking to get into kegging or pressure fermentation, these offer a substantial money saving compared to stainless steel solutions, and also a bigger enhancement in quality and features compared to similar items that were already on the market prior to this one coming along. This applies especially when it comes to keeping your beer fresher for much longer, which is certainly a very big factor for sure. The other great feature here is that like the other excellent bar kegs, the 20 litre version is very easy to use and clean, and gives a very good experience for users. So as you can hear these get a big thumbs up from me, let myself and the community know what you think in the comments section of this video. I do hope that you found this video useful, informative and interesting. If so, why not consider liking and subscribing. For further support you can join the channel's Facebook group, and if you would like to support the channel then check out the channel's merchandise store, as all profits go back into the channel. Until next time, happy brewing!